Our F1 coverage continues along the ongoing construction closures to prepare for the big race. Harmon Avenue is closed in both directions this week. There is no access to the Cosmo parking garage, either from Las Vegas Boulevard uh, until Friday afternoon. Ooh, westbound Harmon is closed at Las Vegas Boulevard. Eastbound Harmon is closed at the entrance of the Cosmo garage. According to F1, repaving on Harmon Avenue will last through May 26, and then Cobalt Lane will be repaved next month. As we get closer to the race, local first responders are preparing for what's to come. Fox News' Shana Kalafi is live at Community Ambulance with more on how they're getting ready before November. Yeah, and it's not just the race they have to prepare for, guys. They have a long list of big events coming up on the calendar. They have EDC this weekend and then Memorial Day weekend right after that. And then, of course, the race itself coming up in November. And they've already had to make adjustments with the paving that's already underway. Earlier this year, Community Ambulance was tasked with responding to 911 calls on the Las Vegas Strip. A big responsibility, especially with several big events like the Formula One race on the calendar. Community Ambulance has already made adjustments to maneuver around the F1 paving projects currently underway. When we respond, no lights, no sirens. We have about 20 minutes to get to the call. Um, and so when you get a call of that nature, uh, what we consider an alpha level call, uh, or, or we sit in the traffic just like everyone else. And so that's probably been our, our biggest challenge. Next up, Community Ambulance is prepping for EDC this weekend with almost 200 personnel and a medical facility on site. While they're pre-planning for an even larger scale event, the F1 race coming in November. Obviously, the hours that you're looking at for F1 are very different than the hours for EDC, for example. You know, EDC is going to run from dusk till dawn. Uh, the race will certainly have an impact early on, but it's a shorter window of time. Uh, you know, a lot of our team has experience working with other racing circuits as far as NASCAR, and so we'll, we'll pull from kind of all that experience. Community Ambulance is not officially contracted as the medical provider for the race just yet, but they are in contact with the F1 team, looking at maps to evaluate the layout and come up with a plan. Guests that aren't a part of F1 or guests that are a part of F1 are still going to call 911 that weekend, and so we'll still have very much a, a massive footprint um, within that track and, and beyond that track in that entire corridor. And again, Community Ambulance still hasn't finalized any contract with F1 to be the medical provider for that event. But they say if they are contracted, what they plan to do is divide up the event into the eight zones and treat each of those zones of the race as its own event. So they'll spread out their resources accordingly because they say it might be hard to move throughout the crowd once the race is underway. Reporting live, Shauna Kalafi, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.